play your Fortnite, Avante Maddox. We don't care because the flying Frenchman has arrived. Kick dig back here, and that's what I'm talking about. Moves, moves like Philly 500. Wait, we went. That's right. Philly 500's been waiting for this. He has marked it in his calendar with a big question mark. When? When will it happen? When will he get on the field? And finally, we are here. The flying Frenchman is about to start. Thank God. Now, is this a fix-all? No. Is this going to help the Eagles? Yes. We've been wondering for two weeks, what are the Eagles going to do coming out of the bye week to fix things, to change things? And we've seen two moves on the defensive side of the ball. One, they cut Devin White. Don't like it. Uh, but I know that there's way more behind-the-scenes stuff. We have no idea what it is going on. The second thing that we found out today, and I love it, Cooper DeJean, baby. Cooper DeJean, the flying Frenchman, even though he's probably not French. Uh, he is going to make his starting debut. Word on the Birds wrote this. Cooper DeJean is starting at the nickel position over Avante Maddox this Sunday per Jay Fowler. Oh, thank God. Thank God. That is a good move. That is a correct move. That is probably two weeks too late, but I'll take it. And, you know, you really got to wonder, if Cooper DeGene does not get hurt, if he, if he was in camp the whole, the whole summer and playing in preseason games, he probably would have started all along. But at least we don't have to hear Avante Maddox saying this. Hey, yo. You gotta get on there one more time. I right, still play, bro. I got you on Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, you wanna play Fortnite? Oh, you wanna play Fortnite? Get in your computer. Oh, look at me. Uh, go ahead. Because the flying Frenchman, he's gonna be on the field making plays, baby. I like it. I like this. I think this is a good move. It's not, a, it's not gonna fix everything. It's not a cure-all of all things. However, it's a step in the right direction, okay? This division is going to be a dogfight. Uh, you have three legit teams and then one team that their fans actually think that they have a chance. Uh, but you have three teams that are going to be fighting over this division. And uh, the Eagles need all the help they can get, especially on the defensive side of the ball. We've got a lot of things to fix, and it'll be interesting to see what they do on the offensive side, but I like it. Um, also, just I should bring this up because it just popped in my head. Uh, tomorrow I am streaming uh, the Thursday night game, so look for that. We, we've been we've hit every Thursday night game so far this year. I'm very happy about that. Um, secondly, uh, I will be kicking off. Uh, I told you guys I was going to do three days a week. We were going to do about an hour live stream for lunch, and so that will be kicking off tomorrow. So look at about one o'clock tomorrow um, for. Uh, Philly 500 live stream, you know, we'll just talk Eagles, whatever you guys want to talk about, as well as uh, the live stream for the Thursday night game should be a lot of fun. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Now, in terms of, of this move, what it means, where are the Eagles at, still a lot of questions. Like I said, this isn't going to fix everything. I mean, DeGene probably go out, he'll probably give out like, you know, a 14-yard pass, 15-yard pass, and then everybody's going to say he stinks, we should cut him, we should never drafted him, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't buy all that. The guy needs time to play. But here's what I'll say. If there was ever a time in human history, in the history of the NFL, okay, like back in the Stone Age when the Cowboys used to actually win Super Bowls, like if there was ever a time to go out there and play a rookie on defense, this is the game to do it versus the Cleveland Browns. Why? Because the Cleveland Browns stick. That's why. And if you're going to do it, uh, this is most likely the game where you're not going to be giving up 40-yard passes, 30-yard you know, downfield. I think they average like under four yards per pass. Deshaun Watson has more rushing yards 
aver- higher your rushing yard average than he does passing yards. It's pathetic. Uh, I don't even think he's going to make it out of this game. I think he's going to get benched during this game. Uh, but this is the time you want to play Cooper DeGene. Uh, I think this is a good move. I think this is the correct move. And hopefully he can take it and run with it. Now you're going to really have two rookies out there playing. You got Mitchell and you got DeGene. And here, to me, is the biggest benefit of this out of everything, okay? Uh, We feel, you know, you might feel like this doesn't really matter so much right now, but uh, they're going to be out on the field getting reps, getting experience week after week, let's say the rest of the season. Now, just think, when you go into next year and your second year with these guys having played all those games, uh, you're going you're gonna to get guys that are ready to go. Uh, I don't like when we have guys, you know, wait two, three years to get on the field, and then they play one good year, and then we're having to re-sign them to extension. Get them on the field as soon as possible, especially when you look at the defense and what we have. What is so great about this defense, seriously? What is so great about this defense that you can't take chances with players, with the young guys? I'm sorry, you know, has Slay been such a great cornerback on the outside this year and such a shutdown corner that no matter what, you can't take him off the field? I mean, come on, how much better has he really been or really is he from a Ringo, Isaiah Rogers, any of those guys? I say take chances. Uh, Get Jalex Hunt. Get him on the field. I mean, how much worse can Jalex Hunt be than Bryce Huff? Uh, you can't have minus zero sacks, you know, minus one sacks, minus two sacks. You you can't have that. It's not like he's going to get, like, minus four interceptions on the year. You can't do it. Jalen Hunt, uh, he played a little bit versus Tampa Bay, and he flashed more than Huff in every game he played. Get these guys on the field. Take a chance, you know. Uh, this defense has work to do. And it's not just the defense. Let me tell you, the offense, they need to go out there and they need to be much better. Now, you're getting Brown, Devontae Smith, and Lane Johnson. I cannot tell you, I cannot stress to you enough how big of of a a factor that is in getting those guys back. However, um, they still have to be better. I still think the play calls have to be better. I still think we need to figure out, and there needs to be a, a concise and a clear play caller and offensive coordinator. Stop with all the voices in one ear of Jalen Hurts. It's too much. Kellen Moore, he's your offensive coordinator. Let him do his job. Nick Sirianni, stay out of it. And when the offense is on the field, talk to Avante Maddox about Fortnite. Uh, talk about Fortnite. Smoke your little pot and and talk about Fortnite. Stay away from the mother humping offense. All right, that's that's the next thing I want to see from the Eagles. That's what I want to see them do. Okay, uh, there is work to be done, but we are getting it done. Cooper DeGene, yeah, I get. I'm pumped up about it because I really think Maddox has stunk, and I don't think it could be much worse. And and just frankly, this defense, you know. They had a really good game versus New Orleans, okay? But uh, especially from a, the defensive line in the front standpoint, they don't get a lot of pressure. Play the young guys. Play the young guys, all right? Now, it's October 9th today, and uh, the trade deadline's November, what, November 4th or November 5th, okay? So with the, the next two weeks, right now, the next two weeks especially, we're going to see certain teams lose and certain teams win. And the teams that win, they may be buyers. They may want to keep their guys. But the teams that are you know, lose the next few weeks, some of them, not all of them, but some of these GMs and front offices are going to decide we're going to be sellers at the trade deadline. That's really where we're at right now is we don't even know which teams are really the sellers right now. So we kind of got to wait for it. And the Eagles are going to need to go out and get a pass rusher. They're going to have to trade for one or you're going to have to get something like Jalex Hunt emerges. And I would play them. I would play a lot of them. But uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to really find out who who's in uh, in terms of wanting to make trades, wanting to get guys off the roster. Could the Eagles play both sides of the fence? They could. That th- This is a team that literally could trade somebody like Isaiah Rodgers. It would not surprise me one bit, okay? Um, 
so I could see the Eagles being buyers and sellers uh, at the trade deadline. But the next few weeks is important in terms of that. This game versus the Browns is a get-right game. They should not be able to do anything on you offensively. You should dominate. You should win by double digits. And this is the point in time where you insert Cooper DeGene, the flying Frenchman, and I think the, the, the hunter, Jalex Hunt, you put him in, you let him play, and uh, you give him a chance. Uh, this offense, in my opinion, is not going to be able to do much damage. So this is the week, this is the time to do it. Uh, just a reminder, we will be live tomorrow for uh, about 1 o'clock for uh, the first lunchtime with Philly 500. And then uh, Thursday night, we'll be streaming the game. Friday, we're back to preview predictions. Saturday, Philly Shakedown. And then Sunday, we got, I believe, at least a doubleheader um, in terms of live streaming games, the Eagles and then the Cowboys. And then I, I got to see what time Washington plays as well. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. And remember, it's Howie Vision, baby. We're all just living in it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have played it, but um, on like the Oculus Rift, it's probably on PSVR 2 um, as well, but they have a game, it's called Pro Era. Now, I played this last year, and I guess they updated, like, with Pro or 2, whatever. I don't know any differences. Their roster's all out of date. Maybe I have to update it. I don't know. But, like, in terms of, like, fun playing a football game, I think it's funner than Madden. I think it's funner than Madden. It's more different than Madden. And um, I think, you know, people always ask me, do you play games? Do you play video games? I do, but I, at some point after... You know, 40-something years of just doing this, like like Avante Maddox, I, I, I need something different, something different. And I think VR is where it's at. They just got to figure out some things. But I don't understand why Madden wouldn't do a whole VR feature. Like, isn't there, like, or, you know, yeah, like a feature of VR. Can't they do something where you, like, incorporate, like, like you know, um, certain plays you could put on a helmet and go out there in VR or something? Like, I don't know. It just seems to me like... Like, Madden stinks, and uh, they, they need to, like, just get rid of it and then build it up from the ground up. Uh, we need something new. Denzel Washington out. That's all, folks. The brother screwed us!